His check on stories we're following for you this morning on Robin Hood Radio. Pat Pagano's tri-state forecast. Spotty rain and drizzle continues today. It'll taper off a lower 70s tonight, partly cloudy mid-50s. Tomorrow, partly cloudy lower 80s. On Friday, sunny lower 80s. And on Saturday, sunny in the mid-80s. We'll get the full details on the tri-state forecast coming your way in just a few minutes. Stories that we're following for you from the Republican American. The state's workers' compensation cases in Connecticut stemming from illnesses doubled in 2020, largely as a result of COVID-19. That year, the novel coronavirus represented 83% of all infectious disease cases, according to the Occupational Disease in Connecticut report prepared by occupational and environmental health expert Tim F. Morse, professor emeritus at UConn Health for the Connecticut Workers' Compensation Commission. Those figures do not include traumatic or occupational injuries. Quote, COVID-19 had become the dominant occupational illness starting in 2020 with an enormous impact both on frontline workers and other workers who cannot work remotely, as well as having a profound impact on work life, which in turn impacts other occupational illnesses, end quote, according to Morse. A higher rate could be due to better reporting in Connecticut, the highest rates of health care and manufacturing jobs, and the possibility that Connecticut may have more occupational disease. From the Astors to Susie Welch, a stunning Red Hook estate on the market for $25 million, one of the grandest estates in the Hudson Valley, a 10-bedroom, 1851 mansion, 290 riverfront acres in Red Hook and Rhinebeck, and ties to Delano's, Roosevelt's, and Astor's is now on the market for $25 million. The property, which is known as Steen Valette, includes a 16,000-square-foot main house, two four-bedroom guest houses, a carriage house with four apartments, a pool house with changing rooms and showers, and a two-bedroom gatehouse. Equestrian facilities include eight stall stables with an office, tack room, viewing lounge, and indoor and outdoor rings. If the estate gets close to its asking price, it would easily break the sale price records for single-family homes in Dutchess County. The current top price in the county was $18.375 million, the sale of a Millbrook estate in 2011. The next highest was in 2020, the sale of this very property for $16.5 million to the current owner, Susie Welch, an author, TV commentator, business journalist, and the widow of former GE chairman Jack Welch. In Alfred, the LCC have made grants available for Alfred and Egremont. The Alfred Egremont Cultural Council is accepting online grant applications for community-based products in its arts, science, and humanities. The deadline is October 17th. The council consciously attempts to divide funds evenly between programs that serve specific populations and those that benefit the entire local community. Special consideration is given to projects and programs that take place in Alfred and Egremont and the neighboring towns. For those wishing to be considered for the Alfred Egremont Cultural Grant. The council is now awarding direct grants, providing funding in advance of the project's launch, allowing an expanded opportunity for those with limited project development funds. To learn more about the grant opportunities and how to apply, tinyurl.com slash 2P887SAW. To begin applications, visit tinyurl.com slash 4 ek r 94 d 7 Direct questions to James Warwick at James Warwick 01 at yahoo.com. The American Mural Project is hosting artwork of gala featuring a premier musical collaboration. It's hosting its sixth annual artwork gala on Saturday, September 17th from 6 till 9 p.m. in its newly opened mill building in Winstead, Connecticut. Guests will enjoy special music performances, cocktails, hors d'oeuvres, and more. For tickets and more information, AmericanMuralProject.org slash gala slash 2022. The Artwork Gala is sponsored in part by Scope Construction, Northwest Community Bank, Cayman Corporation, and R&M Insulation. Taking a look at some meetings going on in and around our tri-state region today. Taking a look at Sharon, the American Rescue Plan Act meeting will be held tonight at 6.30 in Cornwall at 3 to 5 p.m. Writing Stories of Your Life with Deb Devins at the library. That runs for four consecutive Wednesdays from 3 to 5 p.m. In Kent, the Board of Education at Kent Center School has their regular meeting at 5.30. Village of Millerton has a workshop meeting today at 6 p.m. Our business brief is underwritten by Morgans at the Interlaken, interlakenin.com. You'll find them on Facebook and Instagram, featuring a daily menu, a nightly menu, and also a tapas menu. And 
They have dinner specials nightly, interlakeandin.com. And by Salisbury Bank, salisburybank.com. Dow Jones Industrial Average starts off today, 31,145.30. The NASDAQ at 11,544.91. And the S&P 500 at 3908.19. We'll take a look at the tri-state forecast. That'll come your way in just a few moments.